is October 15th. I'm Christian McAllister and these are your top stories. It's spirit week and we wanted to know which class has the most spirit. So we talked to you and asked you to show us how much spirit you have. Freshmen! Sophomores! Juniors! Seniors! The Air Force Junior ROTC participates in multiple chairs throughout the year. The group just finished collecting money in Penny Awards last week. Katie Carter found out how pennies can help fund research to fight birth defects. Katie? Over 25 third block classes raised money in the AFJORTC sponsored Penny Wars. They were competing for a pizza party, but the importance of the money they raised is much greater than a few slices of pizza. I spoke with Cadet Ashante Graham to find out where these pennies are going. Uh, it's called March of Dimes, and it's a fundraiser to raise awareness for premature babies and babies with birth defects. The cadets are also signing students up for the blood drive that they are coordinating with the Red Cross. The blood drive will be held on October 23rd in the mini gym. They ask all students who are 16 years or older to consider giving the gift of life. Reporting for the CQTV, I'm Katie Carter. Our entertainment reporter, Amanda Redfoot, has been on the hunt for the newest trends in music, films, video games, and books. Let's see what she's discovered. Amanda? Thanks, Christian. Gamers all around have been highly anticipating the new 11th edition to the Call of Duty series, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, developed by Sledgehammer Games, which will be released on November 3rd. Set in 2054, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will center on KVA, a terrorist organization who initiate the world's first global terrorist attack by destroying the nuclear reactors of developed countries such as the United States. All of you gamers out there, grab your controllers and get ready to blow some stuff up. Indie listeners seem to be equally excited about war, but only in relation to the Cold War Kids new album, Hold My Home, being released on the 21st, including 11 songs that maintain and exemplify their usual indie rock style. Famous for their hit song, Hang Me Up to Dry, Cold War Kids have once again created an album that will please the ears of any indie music fan. That's all for entertainment, but if you want to find out more, visit the CQOnline.com. Back to you, Christian. Thanks, Amanda. Coming up, we'll get the rundown on sports, meet our student of the week, and find out about a feature that will be appearing in the upcoming edition of the Cox School. But first, a word from our sponsors. At Central Carolina Technical College, your success is our goal. I save thousands of dollars by attending Central Carolina Technical College's amazing criminal justice technology program. I love Central Carolina because it's helped me save money to transfer to a four-year university. I chose Central Carolina because it was the best choice for engineering graphics technology. Find your path at cctech.edu. Welcome back. Sydney Gray McDonald covers our Gamecock Sporting World. What's the score, Sydney? Thanks, Christian. The varsity football team lost to South Florence this past Friday and are now 3 and 4. They faced West Florence in the homecoming game on October 17th. JV football is now 4 and 2 for the season after beating the Bruins of South Florence 42 6. B team is now 6-0 for the season after defeating Richland Northeast and will be ending their season when they face Camden tomorrow. After defeating West Florence 3-1, the varsity volleyball team is 10-6 and 3-5 and and in the region. The varsity volleyball team is 9-5 and, and will face West Florence tomorrow night. On October 7th, the cross country team competed against Florence area schools and placed third out of six teams. The region meet will be on October 22nd in Florence. As of October 9th, the tennis team is 2-7 for the season. Their last match will be at home on October 16th against South Florence. Two players who have shine in girls tennis are freshman Avery Jones and Lindsey Smuts. Coach Loudensauger says that Avery is playing outstanding tennis and that Smuts leads the team with four victories. To find out more about what's happening in the world of Sumter High School sports, check out the CQOnline.com. Back to you, Christian. Each show, we present a student who is involved in multiple aspects of SHS life. So to find out who our student of the week, let's go to Isabel Houck. Thanks, Christian. I'm here with our Student of the Week, Kathleen Curlis. Kathleen, what things are you involved in with Sumter High? I'm on the yearbook staff, and I play on the girls' golf team. Uh, what do you like about being on the golf team? Um, you, we get to meet so many new people, and we all just get to bond like while at practice and just playing matches. And what's good about being with yearbook? Um, yearbook, we have a really nice design that no one knows about, and it's just going to be a nice surprise for everybody. OK, thank you. You can learn more about our Student of the Week on the CQOnline.com. Back to you, Christian. Matthew Lawrence graduated from SHS just last year, but he's currently taking another year of high school in Brazil as a foreign exchange student. Sumter High also has a student who is visiting from another country, and Cindy Gray McDonald and Isabel Hawk have been following his story. 
Thanks, Christian. Muhammad Aljabor is a foreign exchange student visiting us from Amman, Jordan. We spoke to Muhammad to find out his impressions of high school in America. Trying the new school, new system, like, uh, like to, to, to move from class to class, which I didn't have this in Jordan. I used to stay in the class for like seven classes. You stay in the same class. The teacher comes to your class and he gives his class and then he leaves. Um, it's different here. Muhammad has appreciated the differences not just in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom as well. I like when everybody goes, like, not everybody, but they went go to the football game and, yeah, cheering and stuff, supporting the, the team. Mm -hmm. To find out more about Muhammad's experience as a foreign exchange student, check out this Friday's edition of The Cox Will. Reporting for the CQ TV, I'm Sydney Gray McDonald, and I'm Isabel Hauk. Thank you, ladies. Lastly, I want to take a moment to remind everyone that the first edition of the Cox Quilt will be distributed this Friday. We hope that you enjoy getting to know the students that we have featured as much as we enjoy getting to know their story. That's all for this edition of the CQ TV. Our next show will air on October 29th. In the meantime, check out the CQOnline.com to see what's happening at SHS. Reporting from the CQ TV, I'm Christian McAllister. Have a blue and gold day, Thunder High!